We're really excited about the IOTA Diversity and Inclusion Awards, but we know you've had some questions about creating the videos, so we thought we'd create a little video for you to show you how simple it is. So my first tip is really keep it simple. This is about the message, not really about how artistic you are in shooting a video. And your video needs to be only two to three minutes long. It's your opportunity to say why the person you're nominating or the team you're nominating really deserves to win. You don't need any fancy equipment, you can shoot it on your phone. And really, you can use as many people or as few people as you want to describe why you are nominating a worthy winner of this award. And we're really mainly interested in what they've done and what impact that they've had on the industry or your organization. If you've got any footage of the person, of course you can include that, but it's not totally necessary. The one thing we'd like is that it has to be in English or with English subtitles in order that we can really appeal to an international audience. There are a few things to avoid in the video. They are as follows. Try not to share anything that's been previously recorded, recorded or which is really just an interview with the person. And please don't share your marketing materials with us. There's only two to three minutes and that's a pretty short amount of time to convey the message of your worthy winner. What we've done is in a couple of minutes, we put together a short video just to give you an example of how low key this can be. Don't hesitate to contact us if you've got any questions. Hi guys, do you all know Janet, right? Yes, yeah. of course, yeah, yeah. I think we should nominate her for IATA Diversity and Inclusion Awards. Oh yeah, that's really? a good idea actually. Yeah, it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, for the role model uh, award, I think it's great. Yeah, so... Um, yeah, it would be a perfect fit actually. Yeah, yeah. actually yeah. I think so, yes. Yeah, so she has been uh, working in the industry already for 25 years. What I'm sure uh, you don't know is that she actually started as a, um, as a crew member, uh, but her passion was always to become a, a pilot, which we know that uh, she managed to do because she's a, she's a captain in our airline. But I think uh, one of the things that make her really a role model and special is that because through her experience uh, she set a mentoring program internally and she has mentored already 120 women to help her to move, help them to move from the cabin crew roles into other technical roles in the, in the organization. So I think this is That's really fantastic, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And the other area where she has been really a key contributor in the organization is on the diversity and inclusion agenda. So she really uh, push our executive team uh, to define a strategy and ensuring that um, we will follow through in, in, in the agenda around that uh, strategy. So That's definitely that fantastic. for me, yeah, I think it's already a, a key achievement. She's also quite impressive outside of our organization. I know that she influenced government to get more girls on the STEM subjects. Mm -hmm. And not only that, in her spare time, she also teaches uh, English to a group of immigrants, although wow. I don't know when she manages to find a time yeah, for that. Definitely. <laughs> and, I know, and I know she's a, she's a really amazing motivational speaker, but she only speaks in, uh, on the panel that is diverse. 